What is it going to take to get Democrats out? What do they need to do to get the Reagan Democrats to vote Democrat this time in that district? And critically, what do they need to do to get the Barack Obama Democrats to vote for Mr. Lamb? Well, those are three, three questions, Tom. Good morning. Uh, for, first and foremost, the anti-Trump feeling that exists among most Democrats is enough to propel turnout. We've seen that in the other 18 special elections that have been held this year. Democratic turnout has far exceeded Republican turnout, and we've improved our vote total from 2016 in each and every one of those mm -hmm. congressional uh, special elections. So that, that'll take care of itself. The second question is, what, will, what can Connor Lamb do to get the Reagan Democrats? He's done a great job. First of all, he's a perfect candidate for the district. He's pro-life. He's pro-gun rights. Uh, he's a conservative Democrat. He fits in well. He's an uh, Afghan right. war hero. Uh, he's a, been an excellent candidate. And he's an easy guy to vote for. He's an easy guy to bring home those Reagan Democrats. And the steelworkers and the coal miners, interestingly, the unions are supporting Connor Lamb. Uh, and Connor Lamb's done a good right. job talking to union households. He, he's also done a good job not letting the election get nationalized. In Georgia, Ossoff let the election become Democrat-Republican. Connor Lamb has fixed people's attention on who's the better candidate. And ironically, this is an election for a district that will go out of existence in about seven, eight months. 